All right, so move on to the next segment. I'll be sharing my thoughts on UFC records that I can see being broken and UFC records I do not believe will be broken in UFC history. So I'll start off with the records that can be broken, and then towards the end of the segment, I will give you guys records I do not see them being shattered in the history books in UFC history. So starting off with records that can be broken, I'm going to go with Anderson Silva's all-time winning streak in the UFC. I do believe that this is a UFC record that can be broken. Anderson Silva has a winning record of 16 consecutive wins in UFC history. That is the longest winning uh, winning streak in UFC history currently. Kamar Usman was the closest to breaking Anderson Silva's record or tying the record when Kamar Usman was on a 15-fight winning streak a few years ago in the UFC. But I do believe that Anderson Silva's record can be broken by Islam Makachev, currently the reigning defending lightweight champion in the UFC today, a pound for my opinion, the number one pound for pound fighter in the UFC today. I think he's the closest to breaking this record and can be done because he currently is on a 14 fight winning streak in the UFC and possibly defeating Armand Sarukin at this lightweight division, possibly defeating another lightweight contender and then possibly moving up to the welterweight division to crown himself a two division world champion could give him the nod to break Anderson Silva's 16 fight win streak. That is the longest win uh, win streak in UFC history. Now, the next one that I can see being broken is Derek Lewis's uh, knockout victories, consecutive knockout, or excuse me, Derek Lewis's knockout victories that he has with 15 knockouts. That is the highest knockout win, uh, win percentage in UFC history. Derek Lewis, honestly has the record for the most knockouts in UFC at 15. Matt Brown was the closest to breaking Derek Lewis's record with 13 knockouts, but he did retire from MMA earlier this year. So looking at it, I honestly, this is a wild card, but I can see Max Holloway breaking Derek Lewis's uh, 15 knockout wins. Uh, that went that record in UFC. Max Holloway does have a shot at breaking this record. He is the BMF champion, the baddest motherfucker. Let's not forget what he did at UFC 300. The man went up to lightweight and gave us one of the most incredible knockouts in combat sports in recent memory when he knocked out Justin Gaethje in the middle of that octagon with 10 seconds to spare in the fifth and final round of UFC 300. Plus, Max Holloway has displayed he has power at two divisions, featherweight and lightweight. So right now, Max Holloway does have a chance but Derek Lewis, the only downfall of that is Derek Lewis, even though he is in his late 30s, he still is active in the heavyweight division. So Derek Lewis still has time to add more knockouts to his all-time record that is that he currently set in the UFC right now. But time will tell. I do see Max Holloway possibly breaking that record now. Records that I do not see being shattered in UFC history. This record I really don't see happening at all. I don't see anybody in UFC history shattering Charles Oliveira's finishing uh, most finishes in UFC history with 20 finishes or his or let alone Charles Oliveira's 18 submission victories. That record, I don't see that being broken as well, but I don't see anyone beating that Charles Oliveira UFC finish record at 20. Um, there's he's Charles Oliveira is still an active fighter, still an elite fighter at the lightweight division. Amazing fighter. Great grappler, does have power to get knockouts if he really wants to, but he's really known for his consecutive work on the ground and getting 18 submission victories in the UFC. So that I just don't see something happening like this. Dustin Poirier is the closest to be beating this record at 15 finishes in UFC, but Dustin Poirier will probably retire after one more fight in the UFC. And plus, Derek Lewis also has 15 finishes, but... Derek Lewis is also 39 years of age in the heavyweight division. We don't know how long Derek Lewis really has left either in the UFC. So it would be special for a fighter to break Charles Oliveira's record, but I just don't see that happening in UFC history. I think his record is safe. Both of those records, I should say. Now, this record I also don't see him being broken, and that's Max Holloway's significant strikes landed. Max Holloway has a total of 3,378 uh, significant punches landed in UFC. That record alone is wild. And Max Holloway, like I just said a few moments ago, has so much power that he could possess a two divisions, featherweight or lightweight. And he has so much power when he lands those significant strikes. 
I just don't think anybody's going to touch this record. And the fact that he's still in the prime of his career doing this shows me that nobody's going to touch this record. And the closest person to beating this uh, significant strike record is Sean Strickland. He, he I mean, I'm not going to rule him out of it because Sean Strickland has the ability to go as long as he wants to or as long as the fight needs to go. In the octagon, having the strongest cardiovascular endurance, that strong gas tank at the middleweight division. But I just don't see it happening because Sean Strickland has a total of 2,069 strikes landed. Plus, Max Holloway is going to need some significant strikes landed if he wants to beat a pound-for-pound -pound great right now, Alia Tupar, later on this year for the featherweight title. So I just don't see those two records being broken. And those are the following records I do see being broken and the records I do not see being broken in UFC history.